Okay, so these are the two drains that are actively taking water during these tides, coming down the streets, going into these drains. They're handling it pretty well. That's a pretty considerable flow. There's the one right there I was talking about, uh, taking water in. Uh, what I will point out though is when it gets any higher, the drains will stop working because as you can see the water finally for the first time is visible by looking, just looking in there. You don't have to reach your hand in like I did before. It couldn't even reach it. You know, you know, really these should be, during the tides when it's not flowing in, these are low, low, low. So right now that is higher than it should be. These are actively being pumped on a system, but that is only about six inches below the curb. That is backing up, I would say. Luckily the tide is going down, so the flow is going down but that cannot handle anymore. So any worse tide and these two will back up, then it's a matter of the next two and how that system works. But by the, by the looks, there's not too much of a bumper here uh, before the threshold of these drains not doing their thing here. Like I say, that one is lower. I can still see the water in there, uh, down there. It's eight, 12 inches below. So that's a pretty good amount. But like I say, uh, the, the higher tides in the next few days could easily back that up and once they back up then that underground garage there is garage number two to strike out then there's the one on 36 on the mainland which is breaking even right now but any worse i think they're gonna have some problems that's a much much larger garage much larger building etc